go ahead. My name is Karen Anderson, and I own a small horse farm in Bell Alton. Um, I appeared before you all at the last hearing, and my stance is the same. To tell you the truth, I'm not really sure. I haven't read that plan, I, and probably 80% of the people in here don't really know 100% of what that plan says. But what I do know is that I bought my farm better than 10 years ago with the express purpose of being able to give my children a leg up in life. I'm not interested in subdividing other than to my family who lives on the farm now. They just live in my house and I want them to be able to have their own house so I can have my house. And we can all live happily ever after on the family farm where we operate a business of trail rides through the trails, through the woods. And we want to be able to offer that service to people. The farm is 52 acres. I have four kids. That's not going to happen if there's a 20 acre. Which two kids don't get to stay? So I, I know a lot of the farmers here, and we're, the, we're all the same. We want to be able for our kids to be able to build on the farms that we bought with the intentions of having family farms. If I wanted to sell to a developer, I would have done so when I could have gotten $1.5 million for it instead of the whatever I can get for it today. That's not my intention. The intention is to stay and work it. This is a little bit different uh, than what you're used to, but these are my issues, literally. Mm -hmm. This is my issue. This is my son Jennings Anderson, my other issue, Paul Anderson, and his to-be bride. It's for them that if you change the zoning to the 20-acre thing, it won't happen for them. And I, I need for it to happen for them. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Anderson. Ms. Mills, did you? 